Well, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you Trello.com. Now I have another video that I did on Trello.com and I'll list and link that in the description. So if it's if you are brand new to Trello and you don't know anything about it, go check out that video and that'll help you get set up with Trello to understand how it works and the components of it. But once you've done that, I want to show you how I actually use it to manage my blog and my two YouTube, my YouTube channel and my Vimeo channel, my two video channels. So basically on my blog, I have topics of software, multimedia, micro learning, project management, and a project spotlight. So these are all the pages that I want to talk about and share things with on my blog. So essentially what I do is I split my Trello up like an agile scrum process. If you're not, if you're familiar with agile project management, essentially I create a backlog. And that first list is a backlog of all of the headings on my website. So you can see here as I scroll through, these are all representative of website headings in my pages. Now what I do is when I have ideas, I will just drop them in here and create these cards, which you can see how to create on my other video. And you just slide them into place. So as I get ideas for these different things that I want to create a video or a blog post for, I just drop them into here into my back backlog. Then what happens is my backlog has to take some sort of a priority. So this is my idea page, which is great. Um, you can also get Trello for your iPad or for your iPhone, which is super. So anywhere you get an idea, you can just jot it down, drop it in here, and um, you're off and running. You won't lose your idea. But then things have to get to a priority. When do I want to do it? So. In my second column, I set up this list of months. So essentially, every list that you see is just a series of cards that you can call whatever you like. I happen to set this up by months because it works for me. And then what I do is I take my ideas and I drag them into what month do I want to accomplish them. So here I've got, I think, five for June. I have two that are still priority. And I have three that I'm currently doing in week one in June. So that brings us to our third column, which is the sprint or the doing component. So week one, week two, week three, and week four pertain to the month of June. So in week one, I have these three in process. And I have two more that I still have in some um, form of development. So you can see also in here, if you click on any of these, I created this little checklist inside of here. Um, to go through all the steps so I can see exactly what phase it's in. So yes, I'm in the process of doing and this is 60% done. So Trello gives you some excellent opportunities to really track what it is you're trying to accomplish. Then the fourth column here, guys, is delayed. So if something gets delayed, I can drag it over there and I know that some of the other things need to come and go before it. Then finally, in my last column is things that are done things that are done that are on my website and on social media. So let me give you an example of that. If you go to my website, you can see, let's just say, for example, under uh, micro learning, let's say, how to create a micro learning studio. So if I come over here, you will see micro learning setting up a micro learning studio. So everything that is currently on my website or currently on YouTube or Vimeo is over here in this far column as completed. So the way I kind of work from it is I look to see what's out there and I see what topics I need to add additional information for. And as I see that my blog or my um, video channels need some balance, I'll come back here and pull things from this area and get them into process. So I really, really enjoy Trello very much. Um, this is kind of the way I do my workflow so that I can make sure that I'm giving proper time to each one of these topics and also um, so that my channel also represents these same areas as well. So um, I hope that's been helpful to you. If you want to learn more about Trello, uh, check out my other uh, video that's listed and linked in uh, this description. And I really appreciate you joining me today, and I'll have much more to come on Trello in the future. And as always, thanks for joining.